you want to try one last example to really make sure you've got this down, based on the graph on your screen, go ahead and determine its function, or determine its equation. Take a moment, try this on your own first, resume the video when you're ready to check your solutions. Okay, so let's determine first of all, we've got our min points. We've got our maxes up here at 15. Let's say the mins are at about 8. Putting our baseline halfway between 8 and 15. So our baseline is at approximately eleven point five for a baseline. Okay, we are starting at a minimum. I know this is a little different. Um, personally, I would prefer to use cosine and actually a negative cosine. Because we're starting at that minimum, cosine usually starts at a maximum, but if we make it negative, it flips it upside down. Okay, so we get negative some amplitude, and let's figure out that amplitude now. Our amplitude is going to be 3.5. get negative 3.5 cosine. See our period. So time to go from min to min is 14 get 2 pi over 14 x plus our baseline of 11.5. Basically we just got f of x equals negative 3.5 cosine pi over 7 x plus 11.5. If you wanted to do sine, which is completely fine, that would be same amplitude same angular speed and same vertical shift. The only thing that changes is that we use, we say that this has been shifted a quarter of the circle to the right. We're going to subtract pi over 2. Or you could have said that it's negative 3.5 sine pi over 7 and then in parentheses x minus 4 because we've shifted four units to the right, or a quarter of a circle, which is pi over two to the right. Any three of these equations is correct, the same exact thing.